Hello friends and welcome to Encouragement for Today. Rays of hope to carry us through these dark days of unrest. Well friend, today I turned over to Psalm number 34 and uh, found a few passages of scripture that just really reached into my spirit. And I'd like to invite you to pick up your Bible and turn with me to Psalm number 34. We'll begin our reading at verse number 7. And I believe we can find great and wonderful encouragement in these few verses of Scripture. The Bible says over here in Psalm 34, verse 7, The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him, and delivereth them. O taste, verse 8, O taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. O fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. Friend, I don't know about you, but I truly find encouragement in these three verses of Scripture. First of all, the Bible says the angel of the Lord encamps. Friend, if you're a child of God, you don't walk in this world all alone. Now, a lot of people uh, say that they believe in guardian angels. Others say that they don't. But friend, this scripture says the angel of the Lord encamps. That means he takes up residence uh, with those who fears the Lord. Now the word fear there means reverence or regards. Do you regard Jesus as Lord? Well, friend, if you regard Jesus as Lord and you've trusted him, he has angels that's encamping around and about you. And the Bible says here that that angel delivers them. And then verse number eight says, O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Now, friend, you can look at me and tell that I am one that enjoys good food. Uh, this time of year, sweet potato pie is just wonderful. Uh caramel cake, all of those things that I really don't need uh, is really good to the taste. But friend, whenever you get just a little touch of Jesus, it don't take but a little bit. You want more and more and more. You just can't get enough. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Listen to what the Bible says here. Blessed is the man or woman that trusteth in him. Friend, a lot of people place their trust in wealth and finances. A lot of people place their trust in uh, tangible goods. Uh, I mean, uh, when you stop and you think about it, all of the hoarding that went on during the first portion of the pandemic and it seems to have started again so many different things was hoarded up in fear that there wouldn't be enough but friend uh, trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding and god will see you through any pandemic uh, i mean stop and think about it with me for just a moment the children of israel wandered in a wilderness for 40 years and God gave them bread from heaven, and he gave them quail to eat. God took care of them. Uh, it wasn't really because many of them trusted him, but it, but it was because uh, his man, Moses, trusted him. Uh, the greatest thing that you and I can do is trust the Lord. And then verse number nine. O oh, fear, O oh, reverence, O oh, respect the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that respect him, them that reverences him, them that fears him. Friend, that's powerful there. And you and I, as children of God, can take that to the bank. 
Friend, if we'll respect God for who he is, if we'll taste and see that he's good, if we'll trust in him with all our heart, uh, he'll bless us. He'll cause his angels to encamp around and about us. And he'll deliver us from anything that we'll ever face. Well, now, Brother Danny, wait a minute. You said he'll deliver us. Hasn't a good uh, number of Christian people left this world due to the pandemic? Oh, yes. Left this world. But, friend, they went to a better world. They went to a world that uh, the Lord Jesus has prepared. Now, I want to stay here just as long as the Lord can use me and wants me to be here. But friend, let me tell you something. I've got more family on the other side now than I do on this side. And I miss them very much. And what a day that's going to be when there'll be a great reunion day and I'll be able to see my grandparents again. I'll be able to see my mama and daddy again. I'll be able to see my favorite aunts and uncles again. Uh, but more important than that, I'll be able to see Jesus, the one who made it all possible. Yes, I've lost some very dear friends to this COVID-19. Suffered with it myself. But friend, let me tell you something. Jesus said, he that lives and believes in me never dies. Believest thou this? I believe it with all my heart. What do you mean, preacher? Well, this old physical body may die, but friend, this spiritual body that lives within will live forevermore. And I don't know about you, but it encourages me that God's got angels encamped around and about me because I trust him and because I respect him for who he is. He is God. Let this encourage you today, and then you go out and encourage someone else. May the Lord bless and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you, and give you a wonderful day. God bless you.